let's move on to chapter 3.2, linear inequalities in one variable. 3.1 is actually pretty simple. So for 3.2, it is a little bit similar to solving a linear equation. So let's look at triad 3. Solve the inequality. So this is the same as what we do in solving linear equation. You are supposed to have only x left on one side of this inequality. 2x plus 3 is less than 15. Plus you move this 3, you minus away 3 on both sides. So you have 15 minus 3, 12. And then x is less than. This one means you divide by 2. And this is a positive number, so there is no change in sign. There shouldn't be any reverse in sign. Your sign remains the same, so x is less than 6. Then we're done. Let's look at this. Solve the inequality and represent the solution on the number line. So again, 3x minus 8 is less than or equal to 7x plus 16. I want all my x on the one side and my numbers on the other side. So I will. what I will do is I will plus 8 on both sides first. So 3x less than or equal to 7x plus 16 plus 8, so it's plus 24. I don't want this 7x, so I have minus 7x on both sides. So what I have is negative 4x less than or equal to 24. I do not stop here. I must, so for linear inequality, you must stop only at x, which is the same as uh, how we do when we solve equations, right? I will divide by negative 4 on both sides. Because this is a negative number now, so it becomes more than or equals to, and 24 divided by negative 4 is negative 6. And represent a solution on the number line. So on the number line, you should have your reference point 0. Negative 6 will be here. And look at this, this is more than or equals to. So because of this, more than or equals to, it should be a shaded circle. And it will be more than, so it's all the numbers here with the arrow x more than or equals to negative 6. So these are all the possible values that x can be. x can be negative 6 or any number that is more than and it will satisfy this inequality. Let's look at this. Solve the inequality. So these are two fractions, a little bit like fractional equation and then represent on the number line. So to solve this inequality, we can always choose to remove fraction first. So I can multiply 5 on both sides And I will have x minus 4, 1 or equals to 5, 2x plus 1 over 7. Now I don't want this denominator 7, so I multiply by 7 on both sides. x minus 4, 2x plus 1. Okay, uh, sorry, you can't see quite clearly, but the reason why I don't want to use uh, other software because the software are not very sensitive to my writing pad. I think this is the best for my writing pad. And... Uh, now let's expand, okay? So 7x minus 28 more than equals to 10x plus 5. Then now I want all my x on one side and all my numbers on the other side. So I'll minus x, I have negative 3x here. And this plus 28 on both sides. So I have 33. So I only want x, that means I have to divide by negative 3 on both sides. Divide by negative number, calls for a change in sign, so my sign must reverse, and I have 33 divided by negative 3, negative 11. So this is my answer, and if I want to represent this on a number line, reference point, negative 11, it is less than or equals to negative 11. So it has to be a shaded circle, and x can be any number that is smaller than or equals to negative 11, so it's all any number that is on this side of the number line, x less than or equals to negative 11. Now let's move on to exercise 3.2. Let's let us look at some of these level 2 questions. Okay, let's look at part E. It looks complicated, but it's actually it's pretty simple. You have some fractions mixed with algebraic fractions. So I move all the terms with x to one side and all the terms with uh, numbers to the other side. So what I can do is I can use 3x over 4. I will minus away x over 4. So I'll bring this over. And then this number, I will move it to the other side, means I have 2 over 7 plus 5 over 7. So what I have is 7 over 7 
less than or equals to two x over four, right? And this is seven and seven is actually just equals to one. So you I have one less than or equals to x over two. Two x over four is just x over two, right? And then I multiply two on both sides. X is small then or equals to two. On the number line, reference point two. X is more than or equals to 2. So it's on your arrow has to go this side and remember it's a shaded circle. X more than or equals to 2. Let's look at J. 2x minus 1 over 5 minus x plus 1 over 3 less than 2 plus x minus 2 over 6. So 5, 3, 6. You can remove the denominator by multiplying a common multiple which is Let's see, in this case, I think it's 30. So we can multiply 30 to, throughout. So if I multiply 30 throughout, I'll get 6. 2x minus 1 minus 10 times x plus 1. Less than 2 times 30 will be 60 plus 5x minus 2. Okay, so expand all brackets. 12x minus 6 minus 10x minus less than 60 plus 5x minus 10. Okay, don't forget that uh, this is negative 10 multiplied in, so your sign here should change on uh, negative 10. Now let's just simplify everything. Uh, move all my x to one side, so I have 12x minus 10x. This plus 5x move over here becomes negative 5x. Less than 60 minus 10 here plus the 10 minus 6 move over here plus 6. So I have 12 minus 10 minus 5, negative 3x, less than 66. So x, now I don't want this negative 3, so I divide by negative 3 on both sides. And that calls for a reverse in sign because of this negative. Once you multiply or divide a negative number, you have to change the sign. Plus or minus, there's no need to change the sign. So 66 divided by negative 3, I get negative 22 x more than negative uh, 22. Reference point, negative 22. Now, because it's more than, there's no equal to, so uh, x cannot be negative 22. You give a unshaded circle. More than, so any number over here to this direction. Part F. Let's do a cross multiplication. Multiply 8, multiply 5, so I have 2 times 8, 16. Please only multiply one time. Some of you will multiply 8 into the bracket and to the 2. That would be wrong. You're multiplying 8 two times. There's only one 8 here, so you multiply one time. You just multiply to the number outside will do. So I have 16, 3x plus 1, more than or equals to. Okay, just multiply one time. And then now you expand your bracket. Move all my x to one side. So I have 48x minus 45x, more than or equals to. I have negative 45 left here, minus away 16. So I have 3x more than or equal to negative 61. So x is more than or equal to negative 61 over 3. So there is no need to change your reverse your sign because this is just divided by 3 on both sides.